Next question is from Lassie Gutu. What are your personal opinions on diet breaks? Uh, I like them, but I don't like calling them diet breaks. Uh, that's the one thing. So uh, what's real important with your nutrition, very important, a lot of people don't place any value on this, but this is actually one of the most important things, is your mentality and attitude about what you're doing. If you're considering what you're doing with your nutrition, a diet, um, then you're already uh, moving in the wrong direction because a diet uh, means that you're at some point going to go off the mm -hmm. diet. This mm -hmm. is a temporary way of living or a temporary type of solution, in which case a break then is, uh, well, now I'm not within these rigid rules right. and a break means I can do, you know, whatever I want. And so this tends, this attitude tends to lend itself well to the on the wagon, off the wagon mentality yeah. where they're eating very strict and then they go off. It opens the floodgates. Yes. And, and this is something I've, yeah, I've, I've paid attention to. You still have to be very mindful of what you're consuming. This may just mean in terms of using it in a healthy way is like you have a rigid structure that you're trying to, you know, have a very specific goal you're trying to achieve and, you know, a certain amount of weight you want to lose, you know, a certain amount of body fat. Uh, but then, you know, to be able to kind of pull back for a bit, still making mindful decisions about what you're putting in your body, but maybe a little less rigid in terms of like, I'm following my calories. I'm, I'm you know, I'm writing everything down every single day. Uh, you know, that's how I see it. Yeah. I, the, the, way I, the way I look at it is like things come up in your life. You know, once a week you may visit family or you may go out to dinner with your wife um, or you go out with your friends for lunch. If you're doing pretty damn good with your nutrition, those occasional things that pop up, well, there you go. Now, when I go out to friend, to dinner with my friends on Saturday night, I I, I don't even think about it as a, as a break. I just think I'm going to go out and enjoy myself with my friends. It actually prevents me from going crazy with the, the diet because if it was a break, then it tends to become all about the food and I overeat. But rather, I'm going out with my friends and I'm just going to enjoy myself. And today's dinner or lunch is about connecting with my friends and enjoying uh, what we're doing. That's the way that I like to have flexibility with my nutrition, not the scheduled Saturday's my diet break. And then it turns into, you know, 15 mm. pancakes for breakfast and, right. you know, all kinds of crazy food. You know, that. when I first started my Instagram uh, and was, you know, tracking my journey and I was a lot of the things I was, com I was commenting on the stuff that I was seeing really popular in the space and the things that I didn't like. Uh, this reminds me of that. That reminds me of the cheat days. Mm -hmm. Right. It's, Same thing. It's 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 such a popular thing in our space to talk about like, oh, you know, what do you guys think about cheat days? It's the same idea. Diet breaks, cheat days. The the idea of of you guys figuring out what you should be eating, it should be a lifestyle change. The goal is to figure out and I, that's why I hate, I hate even talking about diets. It's all made up. All these it's all made up to sell books to you, mm -hmm. sell books to you and, and to market to you. Really, the goal should be, and and does that mean that you can't use diets to help figure out what what works well for you? Like, you know, so if somebody's like attached to how the ketogenic diet made them felt, like I'm not anti ketogenic. If you if you followed the concepts around that and you felt way better and you got in good shape and you like eating that way, then then attach yourself to that. To what 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 is the diet consists of? Not the diet itself, and that becomes your lifestyle way of eating. And the same thing goes for this person. It's like, you know, don't be looking at it like you're you're either off the diet or you're on the diet or these break or these cheat days. It's like the journey or the goal should always be. I'm trying to find a way to eat where I have some flexibility. I enjoy what I eat on a regular basis. I don't have to be weighing and measuring and restricting all the time. That's the goal of all of this. Because if you if you want it to be long term, if you want to get to this desirable body or whatever it is that we're we're heading towards, and you want to maintain that for the rest of your life, you've got to find something that's sustainable forever that doesn't require breaks. It doesn't require you to, oh my God, I need a day off or, oh my God, I need a cheat day on Saturday because this has been terrible for the last five days. And then what will inevitably happen is the point that Sal brought up is, you know, there's going to be a birthday and there's going to be these things and enjoy yourself and, and be normal. And then, but also, also be mindful. You know, did you just do a birthday and then you had a Friday night with your your wife and then the night the night before yeah. that you celebrated someone's graduation and the night before that was like yeah. boys, you know what I'm Is saying? Is there a trend here? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, you you also got to be self-aware enough to know like, you know, you're on a break or you're not following anything. You're really eating whatever the fuck you want. Like the goal is to eat in this balanced way that feeds your body what it needs and keeps you in shape, it keeps you healthy. 
and occasionally when you have things socially that are important to you, right? So I went just last week, uh, my nephew graduating, and it was his birthday. We went to Top Golf for the day, and uh, you know my family was drinking, and you know it, it, I had a chicken Caesar salad. It wasn't, uh, and I didn't drink. I had a Diet Coke. It just that was not the night for me. It was a, a, a Wednesday night, you know. I I wasn't gonna party. I was. I got to drive all the way home, so I had a long drive. It's ladies' night. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I had a I had a long drive ahead of me. After that, this is uh this is not a. And, and by the way, everybody else was drinking and having fried food and doing all that. But I was like, eh, it's. I'm not missing. To me, I wasn't missing much. Chicken salad was fine for me at that. I had a Diet Coke. I enjoyed playing, and then I went home. Like, you know, you make choices like that. And then, you know, I'm going to have something coming up. I've got my, in two more weeks, I've got uh, my cousin who I'm very close to. Him. He has a wedding and we're going to have a nice dinner and I'm probably going to have some cake and I'll probably have some champagne with him. And I'm going to enjoy that because he doesn't get married that often, right? So, you know, be, be mindful of the choices that you make as far as around the lifestyle you're creating for yourself and allow those quote unquote breaks to organically happen when they make the most sense. But beware if you're abusing that too. That's so. right. That's what balance looks like. Right.